Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you are new, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back. Don't we all say that? But anyway, it's just it just seems natural to say. But anyway, how are you all doing? Um, yeah, it's been a minute. It's been about 30 days since I last posted. Um, the, my last post, and I'm trying to remember because like I said, it's been a minute. Um, I told you all that I was no longer on Wagobi. So as of now, um, it's been over, it's been over a month. It's been over a month since my um, last injection. So I wanted to come in and let you guys know how I've been doing without Wagobi. So I will start by saying that I know that um, Wagobi, there's a shortage of Wagobi. Um, they've updated on like the Novo, Novo, no, Noro, Novo, 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 <laughs> Neuro, I can't, I can't even think of the, I can't even think, Novo, Novo, mm -mm. nope, we're not doing that, I'll put the name somewhere here for you guys to see, um, I know that's on the website that um, they're out of stock, now, as of this video, and this was just last night, um, I found out that they're supposed to be releasing a new batch in August, like mid-August. So I know that they have been telling doctors not to subs not to prescribe the medication because it's just so hard, you know, to get in, to get a hold of it right now. Uh, they're not really manufacturing anything. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's something with the distribution or the manufacturing company. I'm not sure really what's going on, but I know people are having a hard time getting their hands on it. Um, and for those of you who are just starting, you're having to stop and start, and then that can make trying to adjust to the medication even harder. So if you've been on uh, 0.25 or 0.5 and then 0.1, or not 1, 0.1, but uh, 1, um, then you're not having it for several weeks, then go back, then that's a whole nother, it's, it's yeah. Uh, but anyway, some trials going on uh, for the Wagovi pill version of the uh, medication. So that's going on. Um, and from what I am reading, it's going well. Um, I'm not sure when that's going to come out. I do know also that they have, uh, I think I've mentioned it a few videos back, that um, it has been approved in Canada by the FDA, but even they don't have it just yet, and I believe they will also be getting it mid-August, I think. I've heard from several sources, so, and when I say sources, I'm talking like articles and um online forums and things like that and that's pretty much been the consensus so don't quote me but hopefully there's some some hope coming you know coming down the pipe soon okay okay um how have i been doing yes i have still been losing weight i have still been losing weight since i've not been taking with Gobi. and like i said um it's been over a month so it's been about five or six weeks since i've since I took my last dose. I have not gone up in weight. In fact, I have been continuously losing roughly one pound a week. So when I started like doing the numbers, because I always say I'm not a mathematician, but you know, I can count calories and I can count my, my weight. I think my first injection was uh, November the 19th. Um, and since then, and today is July the 16th, Hopefully I'll get this video up within the next day or two. Um, but I've lost 35, 36 pounds, give or take, kind of depending on like if it's that time, which I don't have a flow, even for the guys, it's kind of not TMI, but I'm just, everybody knows here that I've had a uh, hysterectomy back in 2014. Um, and then because of that, I went to perimenopause, which I don't know if that was early or, I mean, I'm 46, so I mean, I guess it's, about time but that was the main thing that I did notice too is that when I started with Ovi I thought it was like a series of my vitamins but I, I'm, a, I'm assuming this will go because I've been on the same amount of vitamins and it stopped my hot flashes because like my first couple of videos like I was having hot flashes and things like that and then as I started progressing with the medication um, and going weeks into it then those um, hot flashes like, like they stopped it was it was just such a miracle because this really, they, they are life altering. Um, and within two weeks of stopping the Wagovi, my hot flashes came back with Avengers. And now it's just, my sleeping is terrible. Anyway, uh, that's just another hope. I probably should do like all the symptoms of women 
and how, what we deal with when it comes to uh, perimenopause, like fogginess, and itchy, and just all kind of stuff. But anyway, I want to focus on the Wagobi portion of this because I will get all off into left field, okay? So we back together, right? All right, so, because um, I don't think the break notes. So I've been losing roughly one pound a week, give or take. So again, roughly 35, 36 pounds. Um, it's my weight loss for me has been slow since the beginning. So what I have noticed that that amount of weight has been consistent from the beginning up until now. Like I'm not a three, four, five pounder a week weight loss person. It, it, I, my body just doesn't work like that. But what I have noticed is that I've lost like a lot of inches. I've lost four or five plus inches off my hips my thighs, my arms, my neck, my stomach, like I'm visibly smaller. I'm not quite, I've not reached my goal. I still want to lose about 15 more pounds. So I've not reached my goal, but um, because I am doing like weight training and I am walking every day, like I'm visibly small. So I want to say like I was heavy deep into like a size 18 and now um, the shirt's a 12, 14. So just to you know, as a, as a ref, told you I was losing one pound a week. So if you are not losing and you're not losing fast, that's okay. Because, you know, if you think about it, one pound is still a lot in terms of calories. Like it takes 3,500 3, calories to make one pound. So, I mean, if you're cutting that back and you're still maintaining your weight and you're doing all these other things, you're still trying to maintain a healthy lifestyle then I mean that's not bad and then um, if you're losing weight consistently like that even if you're losing three pounds but you're doing it all consistently then that weight's gonna stay off like long term so uh, before um, I lost like almost 50 pounds and I kept that off like seven eight years and it didn't come back until both my parents passed away so you know just and then menopause so anyway that's another whole thing but um i was able to keep that weight off without doing anything like huge it was just maintaining what i had already done so that's that um one thing that i have started doing which i really wasn't doing at the beginning is i started counting my calories now i have mentioned several times before that i do use fitness my my fitness pal pal how am i talking my fitness pal um my fitness pal am i saying that right yeah so i, I what is wrong with me I've been using my fitness pal to track my weight loss. Um, I, it tracks it and if you log out and you don't log back in for two years that like the tracking is still there. So, and it's a free app. You can upgrade if you want and you know, I'm not getting paid for it. This is something that I've always used. So anyway, stay focused, trust you though. I'm so excited to be talking to you guys again. It's just been a while, but um, what I've done, which what I was not doing in the beginning, was I am now counting my calories because I want to make sure that I'm staying within a calorie range where I can make sure that I'm losing um, one to one and a half pounds per week. So that's kind of, you can put in there how much you want to lose a week. You put your weight in there and it'll tell you basically how many calories that you need uh, per day to hit that weekly goal. So um, I put that in and... So far, that's what's been helping me. Now, did the hunger come back? Mm, not full force. I would say like 20% of it came back. But what I started doing was I started taking like a, a, a over-the-counter, like a natural supplement. And it's called ashwagandha. Um, I'll put a picture of it here somewhere so you can see. You can get it from Walgreens, Target, CVS, places like that, Walmart. Um, and I've noticed that that really helps to keep my appetite down and it also helps to relieve like anxiety and stress and things like that. So um, with having the perimenopause, that is one of the symptoms like your stress and anxiety. It just goes through the roof, which is what just hormonally It's just it's weird. Um, I really can't take hormonal therapy because I'm prone to blood clots. So that's just I'm just trying to find natural things that could help. But the ashwagandha has been a lifesaver. Like I take it every single day. Um, I was taking it for stress a while back, but also noticed that um, it had reduced my appetite. And I'm like, 
I can't take it without me, so maybe. And I started taking it, and guess what? It's been great. So that's one of the things that I wanted to make sure I mentioned. So if you can't get the Wagovi, or you're in between, try the ashwagandha um, and look into it, re research it. Like I said, it's a natural um, plant supplement, and uh, it has worked tremendously for me. Wow. Yeah. But one thing I really want to make sure is that at the beginning when you're taking Wagovi, it's so easy because um, in terms of the weight loss, because even if you're not exercising, because um, you, you're you not hungry, so you're not really thinking about it. Um, you don't even have a taste for food or just the smallest things like, oh, I can't even get that down. It's too much. So in that essence, it's really, really, really easy to uh, effortlessly hit your caloric goal for the day. Uh, but when you're not on it, and I know there's a lot of people when I talked about, you know, what's the exit strategy for Wagovi, you know, yeah, people can stay on it for years from what I'm reading. Like it can be a long-term thing because for some people it could be physiology, phys phys oh, I can't talk physical or mental or whatever the reason why we are obese and why that has happened with us you know it takes longer for others than some so um, this is designed so that you can be able to use it long term so I want to make sure um, that I mentioned that but yeah at the beginning it's really easy to um, meet those caloric goals because you're just not hungry where if you're getting off of it or like I said and I hope I'm not repeating myself too much or if you're in between or someone like me my insurance wasn't covering it anymore um, however my suggestion and I mean I can't stress this enough especially if you're like new to Wagovi or you try to figure out an ex exit strategy you're going to figure out how to be able to hit those same goals without having the medication in your system and with that that means being more mindful and if you're being more mindful that means counting calories. Now, I was not counting calories at the beginning myself, but this is just someone who's just gone through it and now I'm on the other side of it. Yeah, I wish looking back, I wish I had really got into counting the calories so that I could be a little bit more mindful of it because right now I'm thinking about food a lot in terms of not like, oh my God, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry all the time. More like, okay, am I going to hit my calorie count? Am I going to hit my calorie count? Am I going to be under? You know, do I have to walk more because I am walking five days a week um, and I am, you know, weight training one day a week um, and then working on my core, I'll put you know, a little clip of some of the things that I'm doing in the gym, working on my core. That little stability bar was kind of hard, but I look kind of like tough kind of doing that, right? Um, so I've been doing things like that. So I am being consistent with that. Um, what else? Oh, um, I'm being intentional about what I'm eating. So um, try to get things that are uh, like protein heavy uh, or protein dense, things like um, chicken of course. Um, healthy fats, avocados. I love avocados. Um, like for instance, I would have like a packet of oatmeal and a piece of toast. So what I've done was like I cut the toast out, but I just it replaced it with a hard boiled egg, which is protein. And that takes me, you know, longer through my day. So just being more intentional about things that, um, that I am eating. Um, and then also, like I said, I am thinking about food more in terms of, you know, listening to my hunger cues I'm like am I hungry can I, do I am I starving starving or do I just need to get something in my body to help sustain me you know am I craving anything um, no not really so the cravings luckily have not come back so I'm really thankful for that so I don't know if that was something that my body needed or maybe because I'm using all these vitamins and these supplements and you know whatever I was craving before and I'm taking electrolytes I don't know if that has helped reduce the amount of cravings that I have I think it has because man the water, I'm, I'm steady. I'm drinking over a half a gallon of water a day. So that's been pretty, pretty easy to do so. And that came from me being consistent. I wasn't doing it so much in the beginning, but I'm definitely doing it, doing it now. And I also still drink like those um, protein shakes, the Premier, Pro the Premier Protein Shakes. I am still taking one of those. I'll take one every day or every other day. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling. Like at night, if I start to feel like a little hungry, like after I've eaten dinner, I'll take a couple swigs off the protein shake. And that actually will hold me through the night. So that's been like really good. So I also want to mention that. So um, just learning your hunger cues and how to satiate yourself. It's gonna be like huge. To to being successful. Um, 
Also, um, again, when you're starting this, it's like, I want to lose this weight, and you're focused on the uh, scale, you're ready to lose 10 pounds, you're ready to lose 15, like, I know because I've totally been there, but really, you really have to, like, take your time and not let the whole thought of the weight loss consume you, but because you, you still have to live your life. Like, you still have to take your kids to school, you still have a husband or family, or you may be taking care of an elderly parent or bills or school or just what have you. Like, you still have these things going on in your life that you have to be able to focus on. And if we're just focusing on food all the time, then something gets muddled in the process and it becomes overwhelming. And then we start stressing ourselves out and we don't, we're not trying to stress eat and things like that. I mean, because already if we're overweight, it's a reason why that happened. So whether it be for something in our past or something that we're dealing with now, like we really have to not just make healthy food choices, but, you know, really work on some meaningful life choices and show up for ourselves. You know, I'm talking to you like this, but I also have to remember to talk to myself like this at the same time so I want to make that I know I was getting kind of serious I was like I'm on a roll <laughs> okay um oh also I think I mentioned also in one of my videos about your set point like your body gets comfortable at a certain weight so once you try to go past that certain weight your body's like no 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 we like it here and it will fight against you especially if you're reducing your calories you're increasing and like you're still not seeing anything you may go through several weeks where you're not seeing any weight loss and you know that you're doing everything that you're supposed to do that's because your body is trying to keep you from moving past that set point. Like the body wants to stay at that weight. And that's happened to me several times. It's like my body got used to all the cushion and it just it was just like, hey, we, we this is this is cool. What, what, what's, what's happening? What are you doing? Like you you switching things up and we don't like it. So it was like it was mad at me. So um and that happened slowly. That's kind of what I went was gonna talk about before was that that can't happen fast, like when you consistently are, are hitting that point, you're hitting that weekly goal, your body's like, all right, fine. Okay, I guess I'll let some of it go. So yeah. Um, and then I also noticed that whenever I would work out, my weight is up because of water because lifting weights, it pulls your pulls water into your muscles. So you'll see like water weight increase like if you're lifting weights and things like that. So I've noticed that like I purposely was watching the scale just so that I could kind of do my own little experiment experiment and that did happen. So yes. Um also too I think I mentioned, you know, just like looking at your um relationship with food and what does that look like, you know, are you an emotional eater? Um, are you eating out of boredom? Are you eating because you're really thirsty? Uh, or do you, like me, I just enjoy different foods um, and all the other issues that was coming along with it. But like really sitting and thinking, it's like, man, why, you know, how did I get here? And, you know, how do I get past it? And how do I prevent this from happening again? So um, those are some things that, um, yeah. And I say we because I'm, I mean, it still is a journey for me. Um, I'm very proud of myself and I'm proud of what Wagobi has uh, done for me and gave me this kickstart to um, living a healthier lifestyle. Um, so, yeah, even like now, uh, when I go to restaurants, I'm I'm mindful because I'm I'm happy about the willpower to make those healthy choices. Um, and then also, I found like a picture that uh, was motivating me from like years before. Hopefully, I can find it. I can kind of put it here. And um, like I saw that picture, I'm like, man, I really want to get there again. And you know, I like that. I you know, I like I like how I felt during that time. So. Um, yeah, if you find a picture or something that's going to motivate you, do that. Um, I mean, whatever it's going to take, you know, you have to just kind of look at it on your phone every night again, or, you know, you want to be accountable to someone else just so you can say, okay, I told you I was going to do this. And sometimes we are, uh, we'll do more for people than we will ourselves. So whatever it's going to take for you to get there. But the ultimate goal is for you to be proud of yourself, me to be proud of myself. Um, another thing that I did want to mention is that I have been hearing a lot of people talking about hair loss. So um, I had not experienced that myself, but it keeps popping up like in the comment section. So if you have it, go check that comment section out because yeah, and I do apologize. I'm not always able to get to them because, like I said, life 
got this. And when I'm seeing it and I go in and I try to respond to maybe 15, 20 of them, then I get busy again. But, you know, I do appreciate you guys um, being down there and talking and sharing, you know, uh, information and resources and things like that. So that's been great. But, yeah, there's been a lot of people talking about um, hair loss now. When I look at the side effects where we'll go, that's not been one of the things that's listed, but maybe once they start to reassess it and this keeps coming up, make sure you let your doctor know that that is happening. Because um, even when I went to a lot of the message boards, like a lot of people were talking about that. I personally would like to hear them say something about, you know, can we use Wagovi for menopause symptoms? Because, like, I mean, the weight loss is going to be an added bonus, but like, Hair loss, hot flashes, like, can we live, right? So, phew. Anyway, that is the update for now. As always, thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.